Alrighty you guys, so in this video, this is one of two videos since I didn't post a video Monday morning. So when you guys are watching this, this will be Tuesday morning and you're probably wondering, well, Michael, what happened to Saturday or Sunday? What, what happened Sunday? Did you catch any fish or not? So this is what happened. So one of the first spots we hit, we ended up going to a dock next to this old restaurant that, is, that was on the lake. And this is a state park that's pretty close to my house. It's not known for very good fishing. Um, the best fishing there is really are bluegill, and they're not very giant. You know, the biggest ones you'll get is about the size of my hand, which is still pretty good size, but most of them are in the range between 4 inches to 6 inches, which are not very big. So we was there for probably maybe half hour, maybe an hour at that one spot. And, we, and I caught a bluegill, about 5 inch, 6 inch long bluegill, on a fly, one of the yellow flies um, that I showed you, the first fly that I caught a fish on. And being stupid like I am, I didn't get it on camera. Um, I actually didn't even have my camera rolling because I was not really expecting to catch a fish so quick. Rookie mistake, but that's what happened. Uh, then uh, we didn't. I didn't catch anything else. My cousin Zach, uh, Big Bait Baker, I'm sure you guys have seen his channel if you haven't checked it out. Um, but he caught two bass. He actually caught one on a jerk bait and then one on uh, just night crawlers, which was pretty cool. I was using a fly when I caught my first bluegill, and then I caught a few bluegill um, on night crawlers also over by the dam area. Um, one time I actually caught a pretty good sized bluegill, maybe a little bit bigger than my hand. It was it was probably the biggest bluegill we caught that day. Um, and my dad or my cousin's dad, he was catching pretty good sized crappie and bluegill from one spot actually. There was all congregated in this one spot and from what I was using which was a fly rod I couldn't really use it that well so I ended up going and getting my bass fishing spinning rod which sadly I had broken off one of my little swim baits but anyway I took it and I cast it out, out there with a little cork and a bluegill hook and I ended up catching a few bluegill doing that I didn't catch any crappie and I also I didn't end up catching any bluegill small enough to use for live bait but my cousin's dad he did and me being the moron that I am, I accidentally casted the bluegill off, which is not a problem. Uh, the bluegill is probably still swimming around. I didn't have him uh, hooked in the right area is what I'm thinking. I had him hooked a little bit too close to the edge of his body. I think I may have just messed up the hook placement. I'm new to using live bluegill, so I don't know. I did use some cut bait, though, and we didn't have any success on the cut bait. I might have had like a snapping turtle mess with it. Um, but I never had any uh, catfish come up and eat it. So yeah, that's basically what happened Sunday. I didn't catch any myself small enough to use for bait. And we only caught one bluegill that was actually small enough to use for live bait. And I accidentally cast it off. Then we used cut bait, like I said, and I didn't get any bites on it except for maybe a snapping turtle. But something else I want to tell you guys about. This is how crazy Illinois weather is. You may hear it uh, lightning and thundering outside. So this is what's weird. Okay, so we was fishing Sunday not, or Sunday evening, you know, from noon to three. And we were fishing that whole time, and it was cloudy, and the rain started to move in slowly after we started to leave, right? Okay, so we get ready to leave. We get to my house. We, me, my mom, my family, we're getting ready to go out to eat for Easter dinner. And... Um, so we was getting ready to go, and it started raining. We get home, it starts snowing. Um, then I wake up the next morning, which would be Monday morning, when I would normally post a video, but I never made one. And we have an inch of snow on the ground. And then, like, later on in the day at, like, 1 o'clock, there's no snow to see. I was going to make a video going outside and looking at the snow and all that. But by the time that I was able to make a video, the snow had melted off. And now it is just pouring down rain. And listen to this. Tomorrow, okay, Tuesday, when you guys are watching this, it's supposed to be a high between 65 and 70 degrees. Like, what the heck? It snowed one night, and then the next day it's supposed to be up in the 60s and 70s, possibly even up to 70 degrees. All I can say to that is, that's Illinois weather for you. Now, I've heard it, and it's like that up in Ohio, and down in Tennessee and stuff like that, but it is like regularly like that around here. Like there's never a year where one of the seasons are off. Most of the time, 
it's the winter and spring that's off. I don't know why, but it always is. Like uh, back in 2016, it was normally 60 degrees during November. I was catching fish on that lure right there in November 7th. And then on the 12th, I killed the biggest buck of my life. How does that make sense? I don't know, but that's what happened. I ended up killing a deer in 32 degree weather, like six days prior than, uh, to catching pretty good, decent amount of largemouth on a, a walking bait. That's just the way Elmo weather is. It's normally like that. It's just weird. But anyway, this is one of two videos that are become that is going to be coming out. Make sure you guys check out my other channel of uh, the King uh, Michael Gerald. Go check out that channel. I will. Um, I won't leave a link or nothing to that to the channel because it's just my own channel. Um, but I'm going to be posting a video on there, not the same day that this is going up, but the next day because I do want to make a video on that channel because I've been gaining some subscribers. I've got like 81 or 82 now. Which is pretty surprising because I only got three videos. So thanks for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure you check back with my next video because I will be making two today. Bye.